That are nerds. Microsoft just announced a bombshell announcement. That's why today we're announcing Copilot, our vision for everyday AI companion for you. And this is for the entire Microsoft ecosystem. From automating all your data calculations in Excel and even visualizing it, to even building a PowerPoint from scratch, that probably has a better chance of keeping your coworkers' attention. And all of this could be a potential replacement for ChatGPT in your workflow. So let's dive into the tool that I'm most excited about, Excel. So Copilot is available directly inside of your apps. You then provide it with a prompt and it controls your spreadsheet in order to carry out the calculations. Now this heavily relies on Python in Excel, which runs Python code inside of the spreadsheet. But with this AI, you don't have to know how to actually code in Python. And this powerful language can do a whole host of things, like not only generating some complex visualizations, but also do things like machine learning to help predicting results. As someone that prefers to use Python over Excel for data analysis, I think this is a great way to get people like me back into the sheets. Now, I do want to call out that this iteration of Copilot inside of Excel is somewhat limited as it doesn't even control VBA. And they probably did this for security reasons, but it's still somewhat disappointing that it doesn't have control. So you can't do things like pivot tables or graphs or anything type of built-in features. Now for the catch. This isn't free and it's not gonna be available till November 1st. Right now they're looking at charging 30 bucks a month per customer and it will be for enterprise customers first, which already look like they have a hefty price tag. So if your work already takes care of this, it's no big deal. But if you're somebody like me that uses their family plan, you're gonna have to upgrade. Let's jump into some other tools and to see how I think data nerds can benefit from Copilot inside of them. First with PowerPoint. In a video from earlier this year, they show how you just upload a Word document to this and it will generate a mind numbing PowerPoint on its own. Now imagine if you have some analysis in Excel, you could pop it into something like this and generate some slides and you take out all that dirty work that you normally have to do with building presentations. Next up is Outlook. And the only thing I hate more than reading emails is answering them. Well, they have a new feature called Sounds Like Me. And as you guess it, it sounds like you. By using your previous emails as a template, which is kind of cool, but also kind of creepy, as it even captures your email signature. And more on security in a bit. And this also integrates in with Microsoft Teams, which, you know those meetings that could have been an email? Yeah, this turns this into that. All you have to do is make up an excuse and put a fake event on your calendar on why you can't attend that important meeting. And from there, it takes care of all the work. It will alert your coworkers to record their session. Then Copilot will go through providing a recap of all the major events in it. It even gives you a list of action items that your coworkers assigned to you behind your back. Oh, and you can even ask questions about the meeting contents. Like this feature alone of being able to miss these meetings is worth the 30 bucks in my opinion. Next up is Word, and to be honest, it didn't look that impressive. I've already been using ChatGPT to generate copyright, so nothing new here. But it looks like you can spice up documents with this new designer integration that uses Dolly 3. With it, you could generate some visualizations to make it look like you and your coworkers actually enjoy your job. All right, so there's also a couple of new apps that are being added to Microsoft's lineup, like Copilot Labs that help you with generating better prompts to get the results that you need out of these chatbots. The other new app, what they're calling M365 Chat, allows you to use this large language model across all the different Microsoft apps. It'll chrome through all your different emails, spreadsheets, documents, and meetings in order to compile this in a single location and provide you the recommendation you need. Now that's everything for Microsoft apps, which like I said, it's gonna be released around November 1st, but you can get Copilot for Windows 11 even sooner, around September 26th. This release will have over 150 new features and, and I believe it's the most ambitious update to Windows 11 since we first released it. Now I'm not gonna lie, this also may be overhyped. As I got access to the beta for this last month, it fumbled with things like even changing my background. So I'm less excited about this. However, in their demo, they showed you how to cheat on the SAT by providing it a picture of the problem to solve. And for this, it was able to analyze a graph along with the text and then solve it. So maybe even data nerds could use this to interpret their coworkers' horrible graphs. And the most creepy, but also useful feature is that when you're using Bing and Edge, which is basically like ChatGPT, it can use your previous chat history in order to better inform how it should shape your results. But this all now relates to security. And I know the keyboard warriors are going crazy about this topic right now. Well, it turns out that your data is still protected and won't be leaked to your coworkers. Instead, everything still mains those same IT requirements in order to get access, which I'm kind of bummed as I hate having to bug IT to get permissions. Now for the large language model running Copilot, this also sits within the boundary of security. So none of your prompts are used to train the large language 
model or can even be seen by anyone. So your boss is never gonna figure out that you're trying to plot against them. Now with how Microsoft is positioning this thing as your own AI personal assistant, I think this is a strong possibility of replacing ChatGPT in your workflow, which I don't think OpenAI sees this as a threat because they're working hand in hand and they'll still be making money from this. With this positioning and how this tool is built, I don't think it's gonna take away your job. Well, now at least. In a recent study, they found that those that use AI had a 40% increase in their quality of work, along with being almost 12% more productive and 25% faster. And I've noticed even similar results in my workflow. By the way, if you're not following me on LinkedIn or Twitter, check out the links below. All right, that I'll see you in the next one.